I just got this book, Myth to Reality, and I read it in just over 22 minutes. So how can I say I have a reading comprehension problem? We have all these new labels, RCD, ADD, ADHD, all these disorders and disabilities, and gosh, why did all of them end in a D? D is just so depressing. I started out as a good reader. I could read before I was in kindergarten. I remember some of my peers couldn't read. But in second grade, something happened. And I'll never forget it. I, I was in the hall. I remember the exact moment. They were doing one of those book reading drives where you put your name and what book you read. And you had to write a short paragraph about it. And then they would put it on the wall. And there were people that had 40 of them up there. I handed in one and the teacher handed it back to me and said, I can tell you didn't read this book. And I had read the book. And at that moment, I realized there was something different about me compared to my peers. I now had to give bad props to a second grader for being able to identify that problem. But anybody to work it out with. So my solution was to identify myself as just a poor reader. And I would not read another book from the front cover to the back cover for another eight years. Then I got into cars and I needed to learn something. But when I needed to learn something, all of a sudden I was able to pick it up. But I noticed that even when I was reading, it just felt different. I have never officially been diagnosed with something, so I don't know what exactly that is. But now I know it is my superpower. My superpower is I can read fast and I can determine what information I need and I can dump the other stuff out the other side. Because yeah, I read this book in 22 minutes while taking notes in this book. I was able to pull 11 important facts out that I needed to address. And then I was able to narrow those down to two that are actual items in less than a half an hour. Now the downside to that is it's been less than an hour later and I probably can't tell you, but five of those facts that I wanted to research. Next month, I'll probably only be able to tell you one of the two actional items that I learned from this book. And next year, I won't be able to tell you that I've read this book. And it just happened the other week. Kurt Anderson wrote this book. It's a really catchy book. And I looked at it, and I'm like, well, well, I ought to read that. It probably has some good tips in it. I went to buy it on Amazon, and it said... You already purchased this book. And that's the way my mind works. It grabs things it needs in the moment. It can process them, make decisions, and it dumps the other stuff out the other side. It means that I cannot memorize things. Everybody thinks I'm off my rocker. I have no idea how old I am. I spent a lot of years thinking that I was less than so many people because I couldn't read. You know, you People join book clubs and they enjoy reading and it makes them look sophisticated. And well, I can't get really sophisticated in my t-shirt and jeans anyway. But you see posts all the time pointing to people like Bill Gates and saying there's a direct correlation between the number of books read and your wealth. Well, shoot, I'm never going to be able to keep up with Bill Gates. But even Aaron Prather made this post the other day. He's read 21 books this year. I've read one. And it'll probably be the only one I read unless I have a need to learn something. I did not make it through college. And I realize now this was one of the major things. I could read about engineering, but I couldn't retain about engineering to take a test on paper the next week. But here's where the tides have now turned is I never get a paper telling me what's wrong with the machine. No, the customer calls and he's like, I'm having this trouble. I walk out, I talk to the operator. Here's what I observe. And immediately I can take that and narrow it down. So that's why I say this is my superpower. This is my reading comprehension distinction, not disability. But now I realize it's not just my superhero power. It's a lot of technicians' superhero powers. And it's the power of listening. And I've been doing an experiment for really over two years about this. Is I will tell the technicians in my class, read step three and let me know how to do it. And they'll all read it. And then they look around and they're just like, is somebody else going to answer? Almost exclusively, no one ever answers. Now, I know what step three is, but I'll say, I don't remember what that is. Will somebody read that out loud for me? And someone will read it out loud. And then someone else, and it's never the person reading, someone else will be like, well, wait, can't we do that this way? But it's just that verbal intake 
is the way that they learn. We all have strengths and weaknesses, and it's good to find those that complement them. Click here to hear other people's stories.